Apparently, News Corp in the United States has decided to completely cut ties with reality and say all liberal news outlets are fake news and we are not longer going to quote them. At the very least, a report of the New York Times is indicating that because some reporters of the New York Post, the biggest print outlet of News Corp in the United States, went to their colleagues at the New York Times and told them we are not longer allowed to quote you or the Washington Post and so on. Because News Corp is seeing its financial future in moving even further to the right. And they're probably not wrong. In recent years, they have defended Trump so hard that they burned a lot of bridges towards the center. A lot of more moderate consumers probably are not going to buy a New York Post anymore or tune into Fox News. And even more so after they, well, while first calling the election for Biden, then continue to pretend Trump had still a chance of winning. And this refusal to admit to reality turned off some people who then went into the direction of some more moderate outlets like CNN, for example. While those who were completely pissed at Fox News even called the election in the first place for Biden uh, went to Newsmax or Breitbart in relation to the New York Post trapping News Corp between a rock and a hard place. They could just move further to the right and try to circle the wagons and hope they keep the audience they still have and get some of the bag they lost over this call of the election. Or they could try to move further to the center. But like I said, they burned those bridges so that was all so that they abandoned. So Circling the wagons. Continue to create a right media echo chamber or keep up a right media echo chamber that is going to continue to drive out the division in the United States. Because apparently an uh, insurrectionist attack on the US Capitol was not wake up call enough. As long as quarterly profits are on the line, none of that matters.